Oke guys, lanjut game ketiga ya antara BTK melawan Bloodhound. Moba dan pakai Alpha, Falam pakai Bane. Ya, meta Amerika ini memang agak lain guys ya. Kalau Alpha oke okay lah, kemarin kan sempat ada juga kan Alpha kan di Evos Glory pastinya. <laughs> Dan itu pun menang guys, cuma di sini kombonya gak Alpha Angelus sih. Alpha apa itu namanya Florin, waduh. Emasnya malah mati guys ya. Hati-hati loh, BTK kalau snowball di awal kembali lagi ke game 1 dua tadi ya. Loh kan? Belum ada menit satu loh guys ya. Oh pakai emblem fighter killing spree. You know, last time we saw glue, I think on the international stage was probably I think flat teasy. Can't remember if he picked it actually up against a lapu as well. Um, I forget exactly what he picked it up against, but it did very well. Um. And it's it's definitely not like you see all the time, but against certain EXP laners, especially some of the older meta EXP laners, things like the Lapu, things that when the glue came out, he did very well against. You figure out that he still does pretty well against these picks. Yeah, I mean they did nerf a lot of the base damage. Oh, loh, slip, slip, slip. Wah itu kalau dimajun lagi bisa menang sih, guys. Basic, guys. Magic penetration because base damage was so high, but bot side here. Um, he's gonna bully Falam right now. Out comes the deadly catch. Falam able to just get away there. But this is where Glue's gonna thrive up against these physical meleeers, people that don't mm -hmm. have dashes. He's just gonna walk right in and cause chaos. Do mobile and double team turtle pertama guys ya. Do basic. Basic kalau one by one. Huh? <laughs> Do itu basic tadi kelihatannya terlalu nekat sih guys. Kelihatannya lo ya. He's almost just unkillable at this point. Level six already denies the blue buff. Looking to see if he can get even more here. Besides, you know, Flum, he could take the red. I'm gonna take both my buffs and I'm just gonna keep farming up. We already are at a 1.3k gold lead. Three minutes in here. And you know the side of Bloodhounds is just it's not looking too great so far. Call war, call war. Ooh, nice damage on the <laughs> Yeah, the call, the call, yes, yeah. Rosco decides not to use the flicker there. Unable to get the kill on the cold world. Flam also still just trying to farm. I think at this point he is a full two levels behind Moba Zane right now. BTK mm -hmm. just in complete control. Boko Rosco can't even really clear his wave completely. I mean he's gonna move down now, but still. I'm I'm looking for answers here, but BTK even with their slightly different composition, it feels like it just hard counters what Bloodhounds wanted to bring. Last slip, yeah. Oh, full send dive, full send kill. Sleeps goes down. UA, they're falling apart, man. Match point. Game two, we saw some promise, but game three, it's looking like trouble. You know, even with not like. Even with BTK not really killing like all the time here, they're still winning lanes, right? The glue, no problem against the Lapu. And we saw earlier basic even able to trade out quite well against sleeps here. Mobile Zen udah level 8 ya. Falam baru level 6 guys. Ini aja mau di kontes bro. Wah digasin digasin. Markiban. Ooh, Moba Zen. Ah, mati sih. Moba Zen might be the next fall though. They do respond. Templates able to get the shutdown. Milo, Milo. Milo still causing mayhem on this purple buff. Able to do whatever he wants. Flam luckily does get it, but now Templates in the midst of three members looking for the kill on the Cold World, but he gets terrified. Milo now gonna come help out, but decides to stay around the turtle here. Bawa 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 bawa. Moba Zen gets back on the map. Tahu, ipis banget. It is a good pick up against Moba Zen, right? The side of blood. That's what they desperately need. Basic itu tangil, guys. Yakin lah. Ingat banget gue guys ya pas zaman M4 dulu ya. Even with building a enchanted talisman first item, you know he doesn't have the penetration, he doesn't have the slow from the ice queen one. Even just an enchanted talisman is able to shred down the members of BTK. And you know that's the that's the problem with things like Alpha. Does high damage has a lot of high utility, but you know does lack in terms of trying to defend against some of the CC here, but top. Okay lah templates ya. Mau bazen dapetin turtle kedua guys ya. Templates that he can't do anything against glue right now, man. Because glue, I mean, as the 
as the Lapo, you want to kind of dash in, you want to do things, and and Glue just bullies him so bad. He is like the natural born enemy right now of Lapu Lapu. Um, one thing I do want to point out with Bloodhounds, you mentioned earlier, we saw some combo potential. Oh, they do have a heavy CC. Literally, every member on their team has bawa, ya. some form of push around. Ini sih gue dari BH. Bisa lah, guys. At least dapat satu poin lah. Kind of get BTK into some Satu of these game menang jungle gitu. area positions, not just like open space. Stone, um, stone. It's definitely a dangerous spot for BTK. Yep, okay. uh, Bloodhounds need to try to play around that. Oh, mm, my low. Nice magic gush. Does land on Mielo. Nice charge from Mobazane there, though. Oh, Falam still yeah, unable to get his purple yeah. buff. I think Mobazane stole that one once again, and now we're still looking at a two-level difference between Mobazane and Falam. Yeah, but. One of the interesting things is the gold lead has not really been in a significant way yet. Bloodhounds is able to kind of defend pretty much everything that uh, the side of BTK has been throwing at them. Yes, they're losing kills left and right here and there, but they're still like earlier. They're able to defend yeah, this, uh, this orange buff now. So, you know, even with just a 2k gold lead, the side of BTK, they're not really able to uh you know, translate some of this gold lead into some objectives. They're, they're they're getting the neutral objectives, but no tower has fallen for the side of Bloodhound. So even with you know a kill early on, the level one kill on the top side, okay. Blue just being dominating anywhere that he goes, the side of Bloodhounds are still holding up quite well in this game three. Yeah, much better than what we've seen before. And even that little, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the cheeky lane swap that they just did. Yes, BTK now swaps, swaps lanes as well. But the thing is, is it bides Bloodhounds a little bit of time. Um, Yellow could mm -hmm. not get the better of Sleeps. Um, Basic could not get the better of Templus. Bloodhounds actually take the first tower in this game. So, yes, there's definitely basic some show of in. opportunity here in game number basic, three. Basic, 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 basic. Allah. Bloodhounds are going to try to move on. Basic. Nice offended. Paired up with a deadly Ooh, catch. Basic. Allah, full barat. Oh, yeah, let's see. Basic, and that's what I'm going to do. We want to see Bloodhounds putting a kill on the board along with another tower. That's the long-range combo. Uh, the barrage paired up with Mystic Gush with the I'm offended here by Zane. Alah, Falam. Oh gila, uh, gila, triple kill gak tuh guys. Maniac, maniac gak sih? Mani maniac gak sih? Maniac gak sih? Maniac bro. The Sefek, uh, maniac Sefek, Sefek. Sefek cok gak sih? Sefek cok, Sefek. Ah, gila. The real king Boba Zen, ya guys. Sefek gak tuh guys ya. Itu harus thank you sama Cold War guys ya. Gak dikasih, gak disampah gitu. Gak dikasih. Siapa sangka guys ya? Iri 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 itu ya. Soalnya di Evos gak gitu guys kemarin guys. Ya beda beda tim juga sih. They were just unable to defend the mid, and now they've literally lost the gold lead. It's 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 now 5k instead of 2k. The top tower, the mid tower, everything goes down here. It's a bloody mess now for the side of Bloodhounds. The redemption arc is hard on the alpha right now. First time he played he it, win zero percent win rate. Yeah, he need, he needs to get that win rate up, man. He's he's trying to show that it's viable. It's viable, baby. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if we're ever going to see it again, but it's definitely Nicolette. exciting to watch. And that's the high risk, high reward. You have some picks like that that definitely are meta. But if you get ahead and now it's 8 1 and 0 on an alpha, mm -mm. It's, a, it's a problem. Yeah, it's a very tough situation. And that's not even counting the bloom coming out from the Florin, right? This alpha Florin combination, it, it was kind of those like rank game strategies that they had early on in our season. But now with the little Mobazen, players, Mobazen. it shouldn't be this good. But Moba Zane and Cold World is proving it to still be quite solid here. And one of the biggest platforms of North America where, Less you know, the team, best this teams come out and play. And Moba Zane definitely showing why they are considered one of the best teams in the game. Wow, Cold World. Oh, nice yeah. flicker in. So able to get kill on Cold World there. BTK should be able to take the sword. Yeah. They lose one member. <laughs> sleeps. They able to sleep, yeah. able to pick up that orange buff. So okay, Bloodhound still not losing out too much. But that 7,000 mm. gold lead for BTK. And look at the damage from Moba Zane right now. Yeah, he's pretty much unkillable. He's level 15. He, You know, his scaling right now. 15, he, bro. 
he, he's getting close to his peak scaling, right? He's, he's going to be able to grab up like three, four items, all cool down, 40% cool down. And once he gets onto that, he's essentially unkillable, right? I, I, I mean, the Mystic Gush, I'm offended, displacement with the Missile Barrage. There's possibility there to be able to single out Zane. Harusnya Lord pertama ini cuma bisa nubangin taruhnya ya guys Kalau buat N sih menurutku belum bisa bro Dilihat dari game kedua aja sengit banget guys ya Bisa sampai 20 menitan Even with BTK Like there's still possibility of shutting down Zane But with so many So much kills and so much gold on Zane's hand It, it just really smells trouble I, I don't know if Side of Bloodhounds is gonna be able to defend Against the siege that BTK has set up here we haven't even mentioned late game carry, you know? I mean, <laughs> even if they put if they put everything on the Moba Zane, basically just getting free hits with speedy light wheels. Like, please dive in, waste all your alts on the Moba Zane. Maybe you get the kill, but then basically uh, reaps the benefit. Yeah. So it's definitely a hard code to crack here. Because he's to go start now, go. knocking on the door, Bloodhounds. This is not an enhanced Lord, so will not get the charge. Banget lah, tamlesnya malah mati, guys ya. Ya satu lawan tiga, guys. Gimana gak mati coba? Lah itu Milo, Milo gila, nekat banget dia. Milo does get targeted down, hits a split, split. Nikola dives in. Punya split, split ya aman, guys ya. That deadly catch. Cuma bocilnya tinggal dua doang, guys. From BTK here, waiting for the full attack. Yeah, and it's quite interesting that they decided to put a lot of members onto the bot side when the Lord is marching down on the top. They were able to get a kill on the bot side. They, you know, picked off Templates. Now they're able to pick off the bottom tower with almost no problem in the siege. All members of PTK are completely full health, looking to siege more onto the mid side. Ooh, okay, Allah. Yeah, Cold War is mighty, guys. Cold War does come out. Cold War does go down. Templates takes a lot of damage, but just gets away. Mobile Zane hasn't struck in yet. Deadly catch does come out. Melo dives into the backside, able to get the stun. Looking for the next target. Melo able to get the grab, grab, slam, slam, oh. bring him on in. And a lot of damage unloads. Templus oh. goes down, so does Melo. Nicolette able to dance around a little bit, mm, get Nicolette the terrifying on the bomb. But be, bl Bloodhounds are still up. Satu, finally backing off. A little bit of a BTK masih unggul 8000 guys. Mana ya lah. Oh juga tarotnya cuma tumbang dua ya. Atas bawah. That's the objective that they're able to take. But then there was not much discipline. There was a full on dive from Milo and also Cold World getting picked off by the Mystic Gush. Two members ended up falling there, giving Bloodhounds. They're able to close the gold lead just a little bit. So it's not going to be 10k. It's going to be 8.3k now. They're 13 minutes in. I mean, I, I think still, yeah, they lose Mielo. If Bloodhounds maybe didn't take any deaths there. Yeah. there it was it may be a slightly even but with btk now cracking on two inhibitors before second lord it is pretty huge Rough. um top inhibitor also down to half health this next lord is going to be a charge in one um and it's coming down the mid side btk just hard pushing right now mm, and you know btk definitely is ready oh uh, harusnya lord ini bisa terobos masuk and see harusnya tapi lihat aja lah <laughs> Eh, Nicolette. Full barrage. Full barrage. Paired up with the magic gush. Bro, itu itu Nicolette, Nicolette. Eh, Nicolette-nya, woi. Wah, aduh. Nah, bah, mau bazen gila, mau bazen. Hem. Berani banget dia. Nah, immortality pecah, bro. Fokus end gak sih? Nah. Ya, ya. Oh, gila triple kill basic kasih maniac. Maniac, maniac, guys. Ya, kasih save gak? Alah, mati, guys. <laughs> gila, gila. Maniac dan save, guys. Ya, gila, gila. Boleh, 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 boleh. Oke lah, 3-0 tanpa balas, guys, ya. Ini ternyata Bloodhounds lebih lemah, guys, ya. Wah, gila, guys, ya. Oke lah, guys, ya. Kita lanjut ke match selanjutnya, guys. Bye-bye.